Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Grand Columbia. And in this episode, we're going to smash a Maratha force, send them scurrying north as our invasion of the subcontinent continues. So let's crack on and get fighting. Uh, so we've got some good, we're making some good progress in Europe, um, but in India really, this is where we can make a huge breakthrough. And as we storm through into the north of India and capture... We'll start to invade Persia, we'll invade the, the, um, the Ottomans from the southeast. And suddenly, before you know it, we'll be storming across the continent of Europe in no time. So set my guns up to the rear. The enemy has a large contingent of cavalry, so we're going to likely want to just hunker down a little bit. Let them go a bit mad and thinking they're going to blood and glory charge us. And then deal with the repercussions afterwards. We're not that bothered about their... We're not that bothered about their um, artillery. We want to do damage to their mounted units. Takani lances, Bajir lances, very good shock cavalry. Yeah, it's a round shot. Reasonable hits on the camels, a couple of misfires. They are abandoning their right flank. So that gives us an opportunity. Warm square. Okay, this, this isn't ideal. Well, actually, I've got my cuirassier in here. Let's get my light cavalry out of there. They might pierce the square, but if they do, we'll engage them with musket fire. Actually, no, let's not quick climb the dervishes. They are ripe for a cavalry charge. We've rebuffed the enemy diamond formation. Form square, retarget our guns. against the enemy infantry formation that's pushing in. Everybody needs to be pouring musket fire onto the enemy. Kill the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. Load and fire as fast as you can. Get the colonial light cavalry into the mix. It's 
start to try to snipe at the general's bodyguard. Native Indian cavalry chase down the dervishes. Company cavalry evade the enemy infantry that are pursuing us. Good quick lime hit. Let's kill them. Okay, bring my heavy cavalry in against the light cavalry. So got enemy war elephants involved. Enemy war elephants are routing. Curiosity Air will cut through these lances. Light cavalry pursue the war elephants. Kill the dervishes. Okay, bring the colonial light cavalry in against the centre. All my artillery cease fire. Oh, kill the last of these dervishes. My general wants to go after the Bajir infantry. It's the dervishes annihilated. Peasantry, killing them is fine. Okay, and the cavalry go after the guns. You need a lot of you need you need to be quite cuirassier heavy against the Indian factions. The enemy artillery killed. Bajir infantry is still going down. You men kill the foot artillery. Sikh musketeers are being annihilated. Excellent. This will be a good good battle with a good number of kills behind it. Okay, you guys both help the general get after the Bajir infantry. These peasants are just scattered all over the shop. I know they're only peasants, but they're a beefy unit. It's just nice to wipe them out. Help the pathfinding knock out the Sikh musketeers. Nice. Very nice. Bog standard army. Nothing super special about it. But it's just good. It's competent. Get after the remnants. Excellent. So you guys can replenish. You're going to replenish, then go after this force here at Madras. It was almost entirely cavalry. You're replenishing, but yeah, Mysore is going to go under. Um, we've got troops out of Madnagar. We are pushing out, else pushing out elsewhere, but again, it's a question of replenishing. We've taken Hyderabad, but they gave it up without a fight, really. So I think that's everything we want to do in the Indian region. In Europe. We've done most of our fighting last turn. Mr. 
señor. As long as everybody is recruiting. Yeah, I think we can't do much more in Europe. Not until these armies have replenished. We need to be a bit of a kick in the backside for these guys to go around killing all of our um, troops. Killing all of our uh, buildings. But I don't... You're no longer needed there. Although they do really hate us still. Let's go with a Dragoon recruitment, see if we can deal with that. Disembark the army. Okay. We can also recruit extra Dragoons out of... Tunis to garrison Tripoli just to make sure they don't rebel too hard and I do think we want to take you go to right up in his face then attack him to force him back northward up the Italian peninsula Force them north, then we can lay siege to Rome, then we can attack Venice and Bavaria, and the yeah, then the Austrians are going to be really in trouble. Okay, I want to focus on the right hand side because it's more open. Everybody except my grenadiers and light troops. Light troops on the right where it's more open. Grenadiers on the left where they might have some buildings and other shenanigans allowing the enemy to close distance. We don't have much in the way of cavalry so we need to be quite careful of that. Such as focusing on enemy grenadier positions or we'll focus focus on the enemy cavalry i should say hussars sharpshooters spread you guys out a little bit more the enemies coming after us which is nice okay let's Bring the right flank up a bit. Here we go. Cavalry charge, but it's a Hussar unit. Charge my light cavalry in, backed up with the Grenadier unit. Yeah, that's a big, big screw up from that uh, enemy cavalry unit. Start to quick line some of the infantry. Horse Grenadier Guards want to spar with us. That is fine. The enemy in the enemy attacking the centre of our line has decided it was a bad decision. The Hussars are holding their own, but my Grenadiers are mobbing, <laughs> mobbing some of them. Enemy Horse Grenadier Guards are broken. General's Bodyguard is getting involved in the action. Commit my other Grenadiers. My artillery to focus on the sharpshooters. Okay, 
push forward with everybody. You men advance. Oh yeah, you got charged by some of their cavalry. The hussars are broken. Focus on the general. Kill Mr. Meyer. There he is. Trying to hit some of these guys with power to fire. Yeah, it's kind of working. Where's the general now? There he is. Okay, the Grenadiers are getting to him. Grenadiers have got him. Engage the 23rd foot. There we go. Grenadiers form line. Make the enemy... Get the enemy to break and then we'll chase them chase down the enemy infantry afterwards. Okay, let's let them take some punishment. Oh, enemy fusiliers, actually. Grenadiers coming in. Let's kill some of these troops. Position my general ready. I don't want to use my artillery against the fusiliers. I want them to think they have a chance. Speed up the slaughter of this infantry. The fusiliers haven't made it into action yet. They're placing stakes. So you got to bear that in mind when we try and pursue them. But my artillery is coming in. I mean, I say we have to bear that in mind. Push forward right up into their face. It's particularly helpful when they elect to... Oh, right up in their face. Oh, some of their guys are still... They're not in position yet. <laughs> My skirmishes. Deadly accurate at point blank range. Cease fire the artillery. Hey, is there another one? There is, but that, that's guerrilla mercenaries. Oh, no, you don't. There's more of them. Okay, you men run away. Well, don't run away. You men all kill the fusiliers. The guard... It, this is a bit of a weird combination. Okay, let's send a guard in. But send a cavalry unit to pursue... The engineers. You men continue to kill the fusiliers. There we go. Sadly, it looks like they are going to escape. But interesting that they're, this is, they're just completely failing to pathfind it all. 
decisive victory. We're just chasing them back north where they belong. Excellent. So we've got two forces, one that can advance on Rome, one that can advance at the east side and start to threaten Venice from the south. Then suddenly you have to deal with that. You have to deal with sending troops either to support your front line or defend the south. And then, of course, we've got what's going on over here. So you're two turns away from being fully done. Recruiting troops in Paris. We don't need to recruit, don't need to recruit any more in Britain. Uh, we do have, I'm sure. There we go. Okay, you men embarked. Whoa, you've got a militia unit. How did you sneak in? We're going to nick an infantry unit from you, good sir. Let's get this army embarked, get the agent embarked. Go to India. Recruit some more sloops. Plenty of recruitment. I think it's just going to be loads of line infantry, really. Oh, just the one third rate, actually. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've got it. We've got enough full power navies. Pretty sure our naval strength is as big as it needs to be. Okay, so I wonder how they're going to deal with this. I mean, yeah, I need you guys to replenish just a little bit. You could, when you when you're ready, push north and start spar with some of these troops here. Um, but yeah, right now we're just seeing if we can lure in. The Marathas to attack us, I think. The capital is Satara, who are all very unhappy. Even with a reasonable army in there defending it. Uh, yes, yeah, so I can actually repair things now. Excellent. Okay, let's hit end turn. Your recruitment is ongoing. But yeah, I think we're at a point now really where we don't need to start shipping in armies from other theatres. We've got enough recruitment capability in both Europe and in India to manage all of our demands. Austria is... I mean, they're shif shifting people around like mad, but I don't think they're going to be able to handle what's going to happen. And then Russia's looking mightly, mighty uncomfortable right now, considering the Ottomans have taken all of the, the areas to the east. Still recruiting plenty of troops, which is great. Uh, however, I don't think it's going to be good for them in the long term, especially as we do keep pushing them back. So they're falling back on Rome as their defensive position. It's a pity I can't lure them into any um, bridge battles. So 
I think that would be quite delightful. So that's the Austrian moves. The Marathas still bringing more troops to bear. Um, opportunity to intercept. I think that's probably got to be a yes. Because that army's lots of cavalry, some rockets. This army's pretty depleted as far as its cavalry is concerned. The infantry will be okay to deal with. Yeah, although that army, do I will I need my reinforcements? And the answer is maybe, and they're not really in the best shape. I think I've got to go for it, though. Just make sure some of the more useful units are up front. Um, okay, let's do it. We can rebuff their cavalry quite nicely when they charge us, but it's all about the follow-up waves. If they... But depending on where they come in, that's one big aspect of it. Um, but also, if they kind of swamp us in one go, then they might be able to do quite a huge amount of damage to us, which will really not be ideal. But we'll see. We will see. Just form a defensive perimeter, withstand the cavalry charge... We have some buildings we can hold on the flank. So what I do want to do is alternate in the centre so that my I've not got two native African troops next to each other. They don't because they do um they do struggle from not having many options to form square. We need to be ready to redeploy our line as required to deal with the, the direction of the reinforcements are going to come in from. I think this might be the better artillery position. Cavalry might have to stay behind the lines to deal, to provide a bit of protection from cavalry charges. They go for the Bargier Lancers. the enemy cavalry not really bothered about the infantry just yet just deal with the cavalry the rocket troop I suppose it would be good to keep one unit focusing on the rocket troop shame I haven't got shrapnel shot because we would make an, do an absolute number on these guys Good hits. We're weakening them enough that when the rockets come, when the um, muskets come in, they won't be able to withstand. Yeah, you focus on that unit of Polygar. Sipahi are routing. Dari horsemen hopefully have killed a few of their own guys. Stand your ground. Yeah, that volley was going to deal with them. War elephants coming in. I'm 
there goes the enemy camel nomads. Bring up the cuirassier. There you go, the polygar. War elephants are broken. Great. You men reload and engage the general's bodyguards. Howitzers. Zimandari horsemen. So you men get into line. Enemy general's been killed. You men form square. Bring the cuirassier up. Square, form line. Come on, native infantry. Reload. Put some more volleys in, because they're coming. Polygar coming in. Team need to help attack the Zemindari horsemen because they're very. Infantry can be quite vulnerable to them. Okay, now let's get my cavalry out here. Smash into the dervishes. Sorry, 137th regiment. Mandari horsemen, polygars, and Mandari horsemen. She is going down. Charge of the Hindu Musketeers. All my artillery engaged, the Eno Pindari horsemen. intelligently my cavalry might be about to break but I'm hoping both of the Indian units break instead Everybody's surrounding the artillery. Pull the hussars back. They're going to cause. They're just going to cause trouble.
kill those polygon. So the Dalance is going to smack this native infantry unit. Okay, we need to pull back a little bit, rebalance the line. Okay, we broke that enemy unit. Something like this. Get the howitzers working on the Hindu musketeers. You men all drop into squares because the Polygar are coming. Full strength Polygar as well. Okay, you men need to be formed up, ready to deal with the counter attack. Foot artillery working on the enemy infantry coming in, including the fact that I'm actually off balance. one unit dealt with. Pindari horsemen and camels coming in. Camels are wavering. They just killed a bunch of their own Pindari horsemen. That's super. Commit my cavalry. bad get out of the way excellent the polygar are gone send my grassier to go deal with the enemy rocket artillery Yeah, wavering. Getting the camels turned around and engage them. Ah, bad luck. Polygar come, have come back. Camel the done. Push them around the flank. You know, my general is going to be the one. Bajier Lancers. All my foot artillery smack that Lancer unit. They sense weakness. Going for my line, run through the square. This is a real risky move.
run my general through my own line. Come on, general. Risky, very risky. There's going to be a lot of musket shots flying. Yes. They're not going to pursue us. Just make it through the line. You dashing hero. All my guns engage the camel nomads. Troops coming in. Okay, troops coming in from the right flank, which is okay. Seek warriors. Nearly, nearly. My light cavalry. It's going to whip around the flank. It's going to whip around the flank and try and deal with that gun team at the back. some holes in the Sikh warriors, that's always nice. Okay, let keep okay, re-engage the Baje Lancers. Hussars in. Unless we break them. We did break them. Okay, push through. Gunners engage the camel nomads. Seek warriors are spooky. So is being shot in the face. Very precision quick line there. Chase my cavalry if you like, you're not going to get there. Okay, all my foot artillery engaged that block of dervishes. Bye. 
Magier Lance is coming in. general up here provide some support they're gonna smash through that combat bring my light cavalry storming in get my Garrison guards in. You men have to throw yourself into that combat as well. Come back, cavalry. Those Bajir Lancers, man, they're good. Winning decisively. You engage that unit, you engage that unit, you engage that unit of dervishes to the rear. Trouble is, this really suits the Maratha way of fighting. I don't know if they're bringing on any, any more reinforcements though. What's on the field might be it. So if we hit the Islamic Swordsmen, because they're really scary. Pull those, those uh, cavalry units back. thing now we might have to start pulling back to my gun line where I can try and use try and use um, canister shot dervishes dervishes If we can defeat that dervish unit, well, to be honest, I'm probably going to start to strip out some of these units from the combat. The job is to hold them up. map isn't far. Excellent. You managed to make you managed to break them. Then if that, in that case then all of you get back here. All of you have a place in my front line. American infantry mercenaries run over here.
Because to be honest, you guys are probably better off just getting out of here. Same with the Hussars already. Just get out of here. If I can get you guys over here to hold the left flank, we're going to be in pretty good shape. So you guys are going to limber up and pivot to face the threat direction. You're going to engage them in melee combat to hold the line up. facing that way just to keep chasing off one unit of dervishes who are you? Hindu musketeers oh are you going to get stuck there because you've now got no Canister shot. Engage the Hindu Musketeer unit. On you men, engage the Hindu Musketeers. Oh, they made it to my line. Kill them! position except for you you need to get your guy that got well, let's just saunter along that's fine no worries you men engage the dervishes in melee combat to hold them up shattered so that's them done okay depleted cavalry all of you go over here to chase down the enemy cavalry enemy artillery rather they get these marines back in behind my line Get out of here, Marines. You've done your job. All of you go after that last unit. That those artillery, those in those um, yeah, those artillery units to the rear. 
The Marathas here are going down. Hindu Musketeers holding on. Great guns, 24 pounders. Both artillery, battery, just cease fire. Excellent, that's their armies in the field defeated. Okay, let's mop up the gun crews. Just end the battle there. Well, that was a that was a toughie. Yeah, we give each other some real grief there. Um, however, I think I have come off better than the enemy. Yeah, they're starting to recruit more in the northwest and bring those armies down into the action. They've got a lot of troops. It's a lot of troops. Yeah, we can't let up on the recruiting. We need to just keep on slaughtering as many Marathas as we can. And, I mean, I think Pickens are going to be quite slim trying to find isolated um, cities on the coast that aren't defended because the enemy just seems to bring... They've got so much firepower they're bringing to bear right now. Uh, you want to attack me? Uh, that's fine. We're 100% going to defend against said attack because you've got lots of cavalry. We've got plenty of howitzers. Lots of decent infantry. Um, but looking at the timer... I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Grand Columbia. Cheers everyone.